Okay, so we just left the doctor's office and Dr. Revis was very happy with the results. I am also very happy with the results. It's the first time, it's like the unveiling. So I actually got to see them and it's very exciting. I have steri strips on right now. I got my instructions, like they should be on for three weeks. Um, I'll be in contact with him weekly, making sure that I'm healing correctly. And we're gonna be using a silicone gel for scarring, which I'm sure I'll talk about um, at a later date when I start using it. But so far, everything seems to be going really well. Um, I feel a little pressure when I take like a really deep breath, which is normal. Um, but that's like my only complaint, that and when I sit up from laying down. So I was laying down a little bit before and when I had to sit up, number one, it's difficult to sit up because I can't use my arms. Number two, once I sit up, I feel like a little bit of pressure on my chest because all the weight was you know, down on me and then I sit up. So those are my only two complaints, which are really minimal considering. We went out to lunch. Chris took me down to Lauderdale by the Sea, which is kind of close to Revis's office. And we got a nice lunch together outside. We walked around a little bit, which guys, any other time I've had this done um, or anything done, um, you really are just down for the count, at least for the first like two days post-op. And I feel really good. So I don't know if it's a different type of anesthesia or what, but I feel, awesome right now and um totally functioning yes if i lay down i'm tired because i am on the painkillers which i'm only taking every six hours instead of every four hours um just because i'm i feel okay so i'm gonna start spreading them out a little bit more as time progresses after we fly home if we fly home because holy cow um we just drove by the airport too and wait until you see this footage Look at the airplanes underwater too on the right. Yeah, I know that's what Marissa sent me before. How did the cars get over there? I don't know, but look at it. It's like oh, it's on road. the road. It's even coming on the road. See right in front of us? Yeah. This is the airport runway and stuff. Over there. So there's a lot of like advisories right now at Fort Lauderdale Airport, which is where we're flying out of. And our flight tomorrow is at 2.40 p.m. And right now they're saying the airport's gonna open up at 5 a.m. 
But <laughs> after seeing that footage, I think you guys are questioning it just as much as I'm questioning it because it looks like the ocean when you look at the airport. It looks like the airport was put in the middle of the ocean. It's crazy. So I don't know if we're gonna make it home tomorrow. If the flight's canceled, I think we're gonna just suck it up and drive, try and get a rental car and drive back to Myrtle Beach. It's like 10 hours, but um, I just wanna get home and see my puppies and my daughter and you know be in my own bed because the hotel bed is not as comfortable as my own bed. So all those things. But right now I'm going to get my hair done because it looks nice and flat right now. So Marissa's gonna fix me up and I'm gonna feel a little bit more like myself. And the one thing I realized when I went back and looked at my little videos is that I didn't talk about getting back into fitness at all. Like it was like post-op, 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 all these appointments, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. And then I like did a 200 pound clean and jerk in the gym. Like obviously I didn't go back and do a 200 pound clean and jerk without building back into fitness. <laughs> Yeah. So I said in the video, I was like, I did everybody a disservice, including myself. Like, I did not, like, track my progress. So I said, this time around, I'm planning on tracking, like, how I get back into it, what I'm doing. Even if it's as, like, little as walking, like, I'm going to, like, document all of it for everybody. And the first couple of weeks, what I did was I actually, like, just used my body weight. Uh -huh. I did, I think, like, 20 minutes on the cart, um, on the treadmill. And then I did incline, and then I would do um, body weight squats and just very, very, like, simplistic lower yeah. body things. I did, like, a band. And then it took me a good, like, probably, like, two months to get back into, like, lifting and stuff. Right. You're like, I'm not, see, I'm assuming I'm not doing any upper body at all for a long time. Yeah, like, well, too, because the way that you lift, yeah. you know? Yay, now I'm all clean. Yeah. And I started to get my lashes, and I'll be human again. <laughs> You're still human, like you got new. <laughs> Okay, so we were home in Myrtle Beach, and day one post-op was, it was a crapshoot um, between, I mean, I felt awesome considering, all things considered, I feel really good. Yes, I was on painkillers. I was taking them every, like, about five-ish hours. Um, muscle relaxers I've only been taking in the evening before bed. Um, they do make me really drowsy, so that seems to be, like, the only time I can take them, otherwise I can't get any work done. But that first day, um, I was good enough to like go out to eat. I was good enough to get my hair done. Shout out to Marissa. She did a great job. Um, I'm actually day five post-op right now while I film the closing. And my hair is still, it's still Marissa's blowout and it still looks good. So thank you to Miss Marissa. Um, but that night we had dinner with Marissa and then we... We're panicking because I tried to check into my flight. So the next day was supposed to be our flight home from Fort Lauderdale. And if you were paying attention to the news and the weather, it had rained again and the airport went from supposed to open at 5 a.m. to open at 9 a.m. to open at noon. And when I was trying to check into my spirit flight, it was not allowing me to check in. So Chris and I started panicking. So we called Hertz, which is who I had rented a car in Florida for, from. And they said that the Hertz in Myrtle Beach is privately owned, so we couldn't take a Hertz car from Fort Lauderdale, drive it to Myrtle Beach, and leave it there. So Avis worked. We were able to take a car from Fort Lauderdale Airport from Avis and drive it to Myrtle Beach Airport and drop it off at Avis. So that worked out. We rented a car at 11 o'clock at night, packed up our hotel room, and drove home straight through the night. Issues we came out with, um, I couldn't drive, so Chris was the only one that could drive for, it was ended up being nine and a half hours. Chris drove the entire way. We were already exhausted from having a long day, not planning on driving. So it was a very, very long drive. The storm was basically chasing us up the coast. So every so often we'd hit like spots of like torrential downpour and then it would slow up again. So it was super crazy. When we did hit Myrtle Beach, there was a good hour of just torrential downpour and then we fell asleep by the time we got home. We were out cold. I don't know how long the rain lasted, but the ground was seriously wet by the time we woke up. Yeah, I mean, I felt pretty good. Um, the drive home did, it, it sucked all around. Just not being able to help, trying to stay awake. I stayed awake the whole time. I didn't fall asleep until like the last 10 minutes. I was just, I think I felt drunk just from like being up for 
my god it must have been like 26 or 27 hours at that point so I was just really tired um, so I was crashing the rain was coming down hard Chris was crashing and I just kept like jumping and trying to stay awake and try to keep him awake a lot of things going on but um I mean right now they feel great um they're I'm on day five I'm gonna do a week one post-op video so I'm not gonna get into how I feel right now um, on this vlog but I'll leave you with I feel really good so far and you guys can wait and see what week one post-op sounds like um, it's gonna be a lot of like good stuff like I'm gonna talk about um, working with a a doctor that is not in my state which I'm sure not a lot of people do and there are a lot of people that do do that so um, if you have questions on it I'm gonna be able to answer in the next video so I hope you guys liked day one post-op and all of the rain that came down on us um, pun intended um, we dealt with a lot but I will see you guys on the next vlog. I hope you guys like these breast augmentation updates and we'll get into resuming fitness little by little as I progress and am allowed to resume fitness. But I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.